surviving the waiting stage in life can be painful, mentally stressful, and depressing. I remember standing in front of the dishes, looking through the window and wondering if this would ever end, if I will ever move forward in my life or if I'm stuck here forever. Feeling stuck at a job or a place you live or even with an idea for so long can be such a mental toll to you and also emotional toiling. It could be due to lack of funds or even access is such a hard state to be in and there's so many toiling emotions within yourself that you go through when you're in that stage in life. These are the emotions I wanted this painting to express. I wanted the painting to express the emotions in the moment of being physically stuck or unable to feel what you want to fulfill in that moment. And that's exactly what I wanted this piece to express. I've had this idea for some time and I think the idea was also waiting to be fulfilled somehow. So I was also in quote unquote a waiting stage of my life. There are so many situations in life that make us feel stuck. All we have is our minds. All we have are the mental battles that we go through. And this painting, not only did I want it to represent that, I also went through the waiting period to be able to paint it. And the struggles that I had when painting this piece were First of all, I didn't have a canvas. I wanted it to be in a bigger piece like this, but I I had to find the right canvas. I finally found the canvas, but as I was painting, I wanted to have two paintings with the same idea, one more abstract and another more realistic. And when I went back to get another canvas, I couldn't find the same size. So, I had to find someone to get me a canvas that I needed. So I had to wait and I was waiting for like about a month for me to get a canvas. And <laughs> the waiting period can be really frustrating and stressful. And despite me wanting to show the emotions, I was also going through that, waiting for me to be able to paint what I wanted to express. I am going to also share some things that resonated with me when I was painting this piece. I wrote down some few notes and I'm going to read it and share with you what I felt in the moment and what I really wanted to express in the moment uh, in this painting. You with many dreams. Feeling stuck and want to escape but doesn't know how. You who is feeling stagnant, all your dreams waiting. You who is fatigued, looking at your books in the late hours, dealing with so much resistance. Today, everything seems like the darkest day, actually the darkest month or year. This painting represents you in the moment. This painting is you showing your resilience, showing your strength, it shows how even in the midst of terror or troubles, your candle within still shines. Your love, your needs and wants, your dreams, your scars, all shown here. Today I paint this for you as a reminder not to give up. Don't stop even if you don't feel as if any progress is happening. All your bruises, all your scars make you fully you, beautiful enough and resilient. Your life, even a small print, is a story that keeps unfolding. Don't give up or give in. You are who you are. In the middle of your night, your candle shines and shines brighter. Keep seeking and even if you feel like your candle is growing dim, know that you won't be forgotten. This painting is for your hopes and dreams. 
your pain and loss. I believe this painting resonates with many of us. I wanted this painting to show the emotions and toys within oneself, to express the moment in time where we have dreams to achieve while dealing with the day-to-day -day responsibilities. The painting portrays a moment of solace. It portrays our sacred hours designated just for our dreams and goals, despite our reality that is filled with daily chores and responsibilities. This painting shows a glimpse of freedom we see through the small steps we take towards our dream. This painting has encouraged me and has taught me that I have to start where I am, that small steps count and I have to keep at it. I've also learned to find creative ways to solve my problems and to overcome doubt and being at peace with where I am, despite the self-doubt and setbacks. There are many lessons to learn while we wait, such as being kind to ourselves, avoid being impatient, and use what life has blessed us with. This is the piece, and I hope today's video has inspired you, and I hope you understand that you're not alone in whatever stage in life you're in. If you're interested in learning more about how to paint using oils, I have a video here where I show you how I paint using oils as a self-taught artist. Do like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.